Congratulations, David. Nice milestone there. Well, with a little over a week to go until the start of the EPC Girls Basketball Tournament, two of the league's most successful programs are on the bubble for making the eight-team field. Both Bethlehem Catholic and Central Catholic need big weeks to qualify. The Vikettes at Parkland last night, their record at 8-3. and three. The Trojans unbeaten at 12-0. That, of course, in league play. Mike Kopp, 10-7 and seven overall. West Spence, 15-2. That is uh, Nila Luma with the offensive putback for the visiting Vikettes. Parkland won the first meeting between these two by one. Luma posting up. She had a game high 13 points, but it was Parkland leading 19-12 early going. Trojans uh, working their offense. Julia Bookman, little left-hand runner, will find the bottom of the well. Central Catholics, Jess Davis getting an answer at the offensive end. Ring up three for the Vikett sharpshooter. Time running down now in the half. Parkland's Rachel Medlar with the three. She wound up with eight points. Trojans up 30-24 at intermission. On to the third. Vikettes will make their move. Dealing inside. Luma with a little leaner off the window and in. Trojans uh, working the window at their end as well. Shot off the mark, but Nadine Ewald does it as well as anyone. Count that bucket and a foul. Ewald wound up with seven. Trojans later on in the half turning some very good defense into some offense. Vikettes do a good job of getting back defensively, but the Trojans will stay with the play, and Piston, who had the steal, will wind up with a three-point field goal. She had a team high 11 points. Trojans uh, continuing to lead. Jess Davis then to the basket for the Vikettes. She wound up with eight. Vikettes would really make a run at this one. Luma, again, tough to handle inside. Going to stay with this shot. That'll count in a foul for the Vikettes. Parkland, however, would have the last say. Ewald inside coming up with a bucket. Parkland goes on to win it 47-41. They're 12-0 in the league. Vikettes fall to 8-4. Here was Wes Spence after the game. I thought it was a good game between two good teams. You know, we were fortunate to get out uh, early in the first half. You know, I, I thought we made some shots early on. We, we, you know, took advantage of the fact that, that they missed some shots. And in the second half, you know, it, as all good teams do, they came out with a lot of energy. I think we played pretty well. We, they are a very aggressive team. We knew they were going to bring it when we played them after the last time when we only beat them by one. So I think we came out strong and looked good. In the end, I thought every time they made a big push at us, we were able to, to respond back when we needed to. So, you know, I, I'm happy with that. Obviously, there are things we can clean up on both sides of the basketball, but, uh, but I thought we did, you know, overall, we, did, we made enough plays to win, and, and we'll take it. Said it before, I'll say it again, it's quite, a, quite an accomplishment right now for Parkland to be standing undefeated in the East Penn Conference. There are anywhere from six to seven mm -hmm. to eight quality teams in that league, and they are still unblemished. And still the number one seed in districts as yep. well up to this point. Central Catholic still needs one more win to clinch a spot in the district. Yeah, playoffs. they're battling. So are the Golden Hawks of Bethlehem Catholic. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to turn our attention to.